Welcome to freshman year of college. Okay, so it's Chrissy Lulu again. Here's the second part of my sketches in my notebooks. Um, so first off, we are starting off with my freshman year of college notebook. Um, and just first things first, this is a five subject notebook. So the, the drawings are not going to be getting in order. We'll go from good to better and then right back to the beginning. Um, so just stick with me. Uh, we've got little eyes here. Uh, I really learned how to draw eyes in the planes of the eyes this year during my art class and my, oh God, what is that? What the hell? Okay, I know I just said I learned how to draw eyes, but that is horrific. Um, I drew a lot of these, like, little cute girls. Ah, I, I really wish I could go back and draw, like, more cutesy styles, because I did a lot of that, and I just feel like I've kind of gotten rid of it. Um, I drew a lot of characters of mine, too. I really got more into, even though there's, of course, a lot of Zero Escape in here. Of course, of course. Um, these are actually my own characters. I don't really use them much anymore. Uh, zero escape, more zero escape. <laughs> so I kind of sh had a big shift in this notebook from just drawing um, other characters to really switching and focusing more on my own and kind of doing more sketches for more finalized sketches later. Aw, they're cute! I love it! Uh, I haven't looked at this in forever, so it's really nice to see kind of some of the old sketches. Um, you might not get a lot of these references I make just because you haven't really played the games probably. Um, and a lot of it is reference to the games. But at this point, I was kind of avoiding drawing some of my characters just because I really wanted to focus on drawing actual people and everything. Of course, I kind of broke that rule Oh, oh, this is the one I rewatched. Um, See the Money of Soul and Possibility Control. Uh, that was, that's a good anime. If you if you ever want to watch an anime, that's a good one. Um, and as you can see, I've taken a total shift here, and I've kind of started drawing my own characters. This is where kind of I brought back Ms. Junko and her boy. Oh, oh yeah, when she's setting you up for another notary game. Damn. Of course, here's my characters. They really start pop popping in again, and then they just stay here for the rest of the notebooks, guys. So, have fun. Oh, and I really did start getting into more full body pictures into these. Um, instead of just the heads and stuff, which I was doing at the beginning, as you could see. And instead of doing more cartoony, I kind of moved more into my current style again. And this is where a lot of my drawing was happening. Oh, a little Ed and a little Ow. I still need to finish that. <laughs> uh, I switched her tail from here. I had, like, a lot of fun drawing in classes. I did most of my drawing in my notebooks in these classes. I'm so bad. It really helps me remember stuff, I feel, though. So that's one benefit I've had from not paying attention and drawing in classes is my drawings sometimes help me remember what is where. So this is PT. Um, she's one of my characters. She's a Zelda character. She's one of the Toon Zelda characters I made. Um, I might not ever draw her again. I really do like her though. Um, her brother is Frollo. If you saw him earlier, I'll point him out when I see him, but I don't think I did a lot. Oh, this is my philosophy class. I don't think I did a ton of drawing in this class. Oh, little June. Her name is now June, by the way, guys. I changed her name from Junko because I cho gave her a Japanese name and she's English. So I kind of switched it. A lot of my OCs in this one. Little flower boy. Cute. I drew a lot of Roman. This is when he still had his scarf. And I'm happy to say that I'm finally kind of working on his story because I had so much for him. I really wish I did more sketching. I miss sketching. It's been a long summer and I just don't always want to do it and take it out. And I've been busy working on my comic, so I've just been not sketching a lot. I've been sketching the layers I want to do, but that's it. 
and I just miss it. I miss the little <sighs> sketching I had during this point. Like, just so much fun! Ugh. This is when I really got, I really fall head over heels in love with my, with my art again. So it's really a good time to kind of just look back at all this stuff and just kind of re re insert myself into the moment. I mean, this is not really good. So I, some of that stuff pops up where the stuff's not very good, but there is a lot of kind of experimenting on my part and creativity going on. And I kind of miss that in a way because I don't get to do a ton of that anymore. I feel I really want to bring some of this creativity and just wander back into my art, you know? I kind of miss it. Oh, so cute. I just love the character of sketches that I do in notebooks, though. Like little June here. Here's another June of Cesarelle. I've really brought them back again recently to kind of take them and make them even better and kind of show them to the world instead of just drawing them for myself. Another thing I had problems with is shoulders. I still do, but I'm working on it, guys. And faces, of course. These faces are kind of horrible. I'd love hair like that still. Um, here's Sephrala right here. He kind of pops up sometimes. He's got the spiky hair. I would say it's red, but his hair is not colored in here. So, you know. I had like a lot of ideas. I like that little face. Oh, lots of drawings here. Ah, this is pre-Estelle right here, guys. So if you have seen my channel, you know I love my girl Estelle. So Estelle kind of came from the idea I had of an umbrella samurai. So her sword is kind of like an umbrella in a sense. Um, I'm trying to work out the logistics and stuff and how I'm going to make that work in that. I'm sorry, this face is distracting me. It's too cute. It's kind of wrinkled. But she's got a cute face here. Little June. Or, yeah. And it's just, uh, it's not a great picture here. And this is obviously not what Estelle looks like. But she came from the idea of an umbrella samurai. And she, I, I'll have to go through and show you her evolution. And I'm going to have to show Roman's evolution at one point. I had started drawing one of those, you know how I did one for Mika and her evolution? I did one for Roman, but I lost it with my last computer. So I'll have to redo it. I tried to draw a lot of Seriouscape characters here. Oh, there's, yep, that is a better, better grumpy cramp, cramp, grumps. Um, these are all kind of horrible. <laughs> I did a lot of, like, not really doing a lot on the face, like, not focusing on those facial details. And as you can see, it just does, my people do start off really horrible in the beginning. And then they just get better in the end. And these little cute chibis right here, I'm in love. Oh my lord, I need to go back. Legs. I like drawing body parts sometimes more than I actually like drawing the faces and everything. I feel like, yeah, I, I don't feel like drawing legs. And then I drew a leg. Okay, that's a bit contradictory, girl. Oh, she's so cute. I don't like shoes. I, I still do not like drawing shoes. Um, I mean, this has actually some very good um, flow. She doesn't look very off balance while June here does look off balance, which I've kind of worked on. Um, but I really did start, this was a point in my life where I did start moving on to more full sketches instead of just doing portraits all the time. I think those are my library class. Little cute girls there. And a cute girl here. I, did, I, I gave them huge hair here, guys. Just the biggest hair. I really liked experimenting with outfits on June, though, because I wanted to try very girly outfits with her. Well, Roman and Mika typically had kind of the same outfits, and they kind of stuck to that. Those are some fucking short shorts, guys. If you're a guy, please don't wear shorts that are that short. <laughs> I've seen it. It's kind of like a bit too close for comfort. 
Okay, that's just a waste of paper there. Oh my lord. You see that? That is all just blank. Oh my lord. Okay. This big guy is done. Okay, and then we can move on to these five here. I will probably have one final one for my pun notebooks from this last year. If you guys want expired coupons, I can mail them to you. Hit me up, guys. Oh, first drawing, it's of Mika. Um, I kind of was thinking of, oh, it's an Estelle! First Estelle, guys! So yeah, this is going to be the same as the other one. The drawing quality is going to switch a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, little romance. Um, at this point, I was kind of thinking of kind of ways for Mika to hide her ears and such. And I think I did kind of figure that out. Oh my gosh, this paper is loud. Oh, little Estelle. She's really not great, but I did do a lot. I really had to take a lot of notes in this class, so not a ton of drawing. This was supposed to be a little Mika. It really looks nothing like her. It's just a little generic case that I had. And a little Estelle just leaning up against the wall sad. Um, yeah, there's a lot of notes I had to take in this class. So not a lot of drawing. I'm so sorry. I was really into it, too. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe exotic dancer for a little bit for her. Um, the origin story of Mika is actually one thing that has changed about her the most. Um... Oh, that's cool. I love those houses. They're actually really cool. We learned about them in my mortuary archaeology class. This one actually turned out very nice, I think. Um, it is a pen sketch, and instead of, like, losing all my details into the darkness like I did with some of my previous ones, I think I really did a good job at just having a difference in the lights and the darks in here. And, I mean, Roman is a very angsty, <laughs> depressed boy. So, this is a perfect picture for him. Another eye with a womp womp. More eyes. I do like eyes, but I never seem to draw them in as much detail as I have. Roman has also changed quite a lot over time, too. He kind of started off... Oh, sketches! One second. Oh, cute. He kind of started off as oh my little quirk he kind of started off as less of a upset and kind of depressed kind of guy and transformed more into just or well he used to be just a sass machine he was an asshole Oh yeah. Oh my god, this is such a cute picture. I love little Luna here. That was supposed to be Estelle. Uh, I did so much cute art. Um, here's a little Diana. Di Diana? I think this was, um, my, this could have been my sophomore year. Oh my lord, I feel so old, guys. I, I kind of just don't want to throw these out somewhat. Some of them I'm like, I'm definitely fine with throwing them. Others I'm like, ugh. Too many good memories in these. Little Estelle here. This was supposed to be a young Estelle right there. If you can tell from the blunt bangs. That's supposed to be Estelle. Here's another Estelle. This was before I had her little outfit fixed. Or figured out. And of course, some of my sketches are actually better than others. I think he, he's holding a shopping bag there, guys. Oh, more Estelle. Oh, and Amika. I was kind of not sure how or what their relationship would be like if they would know each other or of each other at this point in time I think yes they would um, there's an Estelle here's Roman oh I know what this is for this was for my three hour class so of course I had tons of time to draw and it was horrible and boring so I did lots Okay, this is from Danganronpa. I started getting into Danganronpa, and I fell in love with Chihiro. Poor Chihiro, such a tragic character. I still need to play the second one, so no spoilers, please. That's kind of horrible. 
<laughs> but I did a lot of experimenting, and a lot of it was started to be pen sketches again, interestingly enough. I love this pose right here, this just sitting pose. I had so much character, and I feel like, in a way, I've kind of lost, I lose some of that in some of my finished drawings, like this. <sighs> I just need to go back and take some of these ideas and fully execute them. As you can see, this is Mika. Um, I drew a lot with these braids. This is really messy, so it's hard to see, but she's got a hat on to cover her ears, and this bag is actually hiding her tail. There's a hole so she can stick her tail in it. Well, I'll still up there. Big old Roman here. Um, but yeah. Here's, here's Mika. Oh, sorry. Mika and Estelle. Mika's wearing her little hat there. Oh, I have little cute little chibis of them. Those are huge feet. Holy butts. And I did a, a Roman and a Mika on this side. I ch ended up changing her hair. This was actually more close to Mika's original hair right here. Ah, I'm sorry. I love my characters and I love discussing them. This is another pen sketch I did that's just really detailed and I did lots of shading and pen and everything and I actually really like how this turned out. It's again Chihiro because I love my boy Chihiro. Chihiro is so cute. I love her. So cute. One more Chihiro. That's supposed to be Chihiro. That's an Estelle in a horrible dress. Another Estelle. This is supposed to be her sword. She's got a she's got a huge double-handed sword, which I have to finish designing and everything, but you know. Another Mika. I wasn't really I don't know. Mika almost does not look like Mika at this point. I ended up changing her nose to make her more doggy in a way. That nose is too close to the eye. Here's another eye. Self-critiquing my art. That's something I do a lot. I apologize. It's kind of horrible. At this, at this point, I had added some freckles to her shoulders. It doesn't look like I have any on her, her upper legs, which she actually does now. So there's that. A little still here. Well, Wendy. Oh, let me convert you. I love this picture, actually. I, I really would love to do something like this. It's just adorable. And it looks like it's supposed to be her trying to be sexy and stuff. But, you know. Ugh. I love it. I, I just love it when I end up with stuff where it's just a whole conglomeration of sketches. Even though I don't think most of these are very good anymore, I still do like the character and everything in this one. And I would love to kind of recreate something like that. One thing I do miss. Oh, this is when I first, I think, bought my Sharpie pens. These things have been with me for the long run. And I hate them as much as I love them. These oranges always cause me problems. Or coral or whatever they want to call it. The nibs always get shoved in. I always ruin the nibs. So here's a little Estelle in that. Roman... Mika, the green is kind of hardest to always see, honestly. Oh, I kind of like her in a bit. I didn't know I actually had her in one of my sketches. This was actually supposed to be Estelle's mother. But at this point in time, Estelle's mother is dead, so this is not Estelle's mother. Um, <laughs> I guess I didn't feel like putting clothes on Mika here. Um, I think this is adorable. I was feeling tired, and I drew really tired Estelle too. She's just... Uh, I feel like she's me sometimes. These are horrible hands. I don't even think I liked them at the time. Yeah. Wow. These are bad. Okay. I was right. Here's him sitting on a bus. And interestingly enough, I did bring this concept back. of Roman on a bus. I just wish I could go back to the days where I just drew like this. Oh, my. Little Estelle. So cute. What do foot... <laughs> I, I like to make really stupid comments on art that I don't think is good and point out mistakes. I, this looks like it's supposed to be Mika, but I don't think it is. I don't know what that's supposed to be. What do you think this is supposed to be? Comment down below. What is this? Oh, a little, a little shocked, Estelle. Um, that's supposed to be a little snooty. Mika, as you can see, her nose had been switched at this time. Here's another Mika sitting on the floor in a cell. I kind of like drawing them together, but you know. If you couldn't tell, a lot of like this side, I guess, is just covered in 
doodles. I just draw a lot in class. Again, if you want my expired coupons, you can have them, guys. Once in a lifetime offer. Oh, here's a Roman and a cell with matching hairstyles. Because I thought that was funny. I guess. Oh, little cute. Mika. Look at Tamika and her little hair. Her little, her little flowers. Her nose is still the same there, though. Or it's the old nose, I guess. This was before I kind of made her a little bit more doggy. She also has dog teeth now, so there's that. Dog, doggy nose and a dog and some dog teeth. But kind of switching over to that kind of was painful for me, just because um I almost feel like it ruins her when I do draw it in. But I think I'm getting better. I think this is cute. Um, I can see some anatomy problems in it, but this could be a kind of a cool concept to kind of recreate, and I would love to recreate it. There's, like, tons of sketches in here that I would love to kind of make into, like, full-fledged drawings, and I kind of have with some of Estelle's, like, her working out, because she's got to work out to hold that sword, man. Um, this isn't really great, but I kind of do, like, me trying poses that I'm not comfortable with. And stuff like that. Here's a little stad. Estelle. More Estelle. This was in her old clothes. Like religious clothes. Here's Estelle again. Working out and stuff. Training. Another Roman. Oh, this is supposed to be a little height chart. I actually did bring this into actuality. I think I do need to draw Roman again. I am pleased with how Mika and Estelle are still, even though they were drawn over a year ago at this point. But Roman was drawn in the January of that year, and I don't really like how he looks. So I might want to do him again, but that's just for official. Oh, I, I spoke of the Umbrella Sword, and here it is. So I was kind of thinking there's, there's a little rose on the end of her sword. You kind of push it, and then it turns into a shield. Is kind of the gimmick with her sword. So it's kind of... What makes it very heavy, but it's also a very strong sword. So I mean, it may not wouldn't may not work in like the real world in a practical sense, but this is fantasy, so you can kind of make anything work as long as you kind of make it believable that in that world that that makes sense. Here's me getting Roman's clothes. I'm kind of like switching up clothes with people. I also changed her outfit around this point. Um, little sketches I did with color of my trio. So yeah, I can I consider these got these three a trio, and then Cesaro and June are a duo. I think these were supposed to be their eyes. This looks like it's supposed to be Estelle's. Estelle has very round eyes, which is something I kind of settled on. And you can kind of see it over here. She's got very round eyes. Well, Mika more has kind of they come to a point more than Estelle's. Oh. Oh, they just get, they, they're really crappy at first, but they get better by the end. Like, this little Estelle right here is adorable. Little praying girl. So cute! Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Worf, worf. This is supposed to be Mika. It's not great, but, you know, neither is that Mika. Doesn't look like Mika. Oh, this is all stats. I apologize. I don't mean to poison you with math. Oh my lord, this is going on too long. I'm going to have to split another video, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, there's some guys here. Teeny had Cesaro and a slap and roll them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now the Roman, he still had his scarf at this point. His scarf ended up being removed. Little cute chibi Mika. I really do want to draw more of those. A little chibi Chibi Roman. I really love this old Roman, though. Another teeny head Cicero. Oh, Chibi Estelle here. And horrible monstrosity Estelle there. Another Chibi Row. Horrible that. <laughs> That's very sloppy. I think this was a concept for something. I oh, yes. Yes, it was. This was a concept for a piece I did for my boyfriend, which actually turned out not horrible like that, but you know, cute little Mika with flowers in her hair. This actually kind of led to something else I ended up doing. Um, let's see, 
Oh, uh, they're so cute. Buddy Buddy right there. So we got Nika in a really stiff pose, and then Estelle kind of more relaxed. Another Estelle here, kind of like a school uniform. Some concepts of demons. I actually kind of like some of these. I kind of would love to bring some of them back. Oh, I skipped two pages. Estelle, Estelle. Creepy, bad Estelle. You know. Another sleepy Estelle. I like drawing. As, as you can see, I just am obsessed with my girl. <laughs> I have to stop at all of them. A little sleepy Mika. Mika and her headscarf, which I kind of almost nixed that idea now. I don't even know if I'll include it. We'll see. Workout Estelle. Mika in normal clothes. That's it. Okay. So, since we're already at like 25 minutes in, I'm going to save the next couple for another video. So, just tune in next time and make sure to go through the last couple. Um, looks like we don't have a ton in that one. And we've got a lot in this one. So, anyways, stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye! Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. Bye!